So now I'll go over the engraver. Um, as you can see here, um, I just have it running on a linear slide with a, an actuator here. I run the, the air pressure around, as you can see, four to six bar. Um, and it's just a pin type engraver, like the normal ones you see. It's pretty fine tipped. And um, I haven't used it a whole lot, but I've been able to engrave some things. Um, I run it off of a solenoid here from Festo, and that controls the, the pin as well as the up and down motion. Uh, the air tube then runs through the cable chain here, around through the machine, and back up to here. Uh, if I'm not running the engraver, I turn it off here. That way it doesn't take any... It still is going to lose some kind of air pressure through there, through the solenoid, so uh, to help hold the, the cylinder up. So whenever I'm cutting, uh, unless I'm running a, a program that's running the, the engraver and the plasma, uh, the same on the same G-code, I just turn it off. And as, as you can see right now, it's higher than the actual material would be. That's in the extended position because I don't have the air turned on. Um, when I'm actually using it, obviously it would drop down to about this level. Um, so yeah, that's the engraver. Um, like I said, it runs off of a separate 24 volt source. Uh, then the other things, the oh, and then with uh, the promo. Um, yeah, and it, I run it off the, the second relay in the controller box. So uh, in the same G code, I can run the, the plasma, or I first engrave and then I would cut it out with the plasma, um, all in the same code. So yep, that's the that's the engraver.